Yeah, I started working at South Crofty in 1982. I was a mechanical engineer, but uh, there was no work of that sort going at Crofty's. Um, so the best they could offer me was a labouring job, uh, what they called OC. An OC man was actually, would do any of the labouring jobs, which uh, basically breaking rocks with a sledgehammer in conditions where it was quite hot, high temperature, high humidity. It was like stepping back 50, 60 years. And my first few days there, I couldn't believe what I was doing. So on my first few days, I went down, got off the station at 380, which was had a few strip lights. As soon as you walked off the station, you went into the, the dark tunnel, basically. So just your cat lamp, and uh, you would be walking with the rest of the miners. Walked uh, for 20 minutes and then came to the top of the decline. And I can remember being quite taken aback by the sight of looking down a, a decline going away into the distance with strip lights just going down to vanishing point and wondering <laughs> what I'd let myself in for. I can remember uh, working on an afternoon shift and you would quite often be the only on afternoons or night shift, you would be the only two guys on the level. Um, just you and your mate tramming. Um, so just transporting all underground in the pitch black with just your light on. You could get off your wagon, uh, get off your locomotive to tip your wagon, um, thinking that your mate is inside, which he was, but there was somebody stood behind you that had climbed up from the level below with his light switched off and just put his hand on your shoulder and just watch how far you could jump in the air. And the first time he did, <laughs> did it to me, I thought it was hilarious after I finished running around in little circles. Crofty, you would build um, somewhere uh, to take your lunch break when you could get it or uh, grab a cup of tea and, uh, and that was your crowd seat. Guys would come down from raising absolutely covered from head to foot in red ochre. You wouldn't hardly recognise them. It's like they had a flipping instant suntan. Um, and you could go up into the dry and have a shower and um, think you got yourself totally clean and then your wife would give you hell the following day because when you got out, the ochre was still in the pores of your skin and it would come out on the sheets. And you had red sheets, which was not good. Um, we were aware that the tin price had collapsed. Um, the other two mines that were open when I first started, which was um, Will Jane and Yeever, had already closed. It's hard to recall how strongly we felt, how strongly we wanted to keep the mine open. We wanted, if we couldn't keep the mine open, that we would at least um, put it on care and maintenance, which was basically keeping the pumps going, keep, keeping the mine dry until the tin price um, recovered. The government at the time decided that that wasn't a good idea and to switch the pumps off. Once the pumps had been switched off, the mine started to flood from the bottom levels fairly quickly. On the last few days we could see the water coming up um, and we lost the bottom level which was 470 which I had worked on. Um, it's surprising that you still feel um, distressed by it. But it seems such a waste of all the work that had been done to, um, to mine it. Seeing the water coming up and all the blood sweat, uh, it's just a sad, memory really. Um, I can remember the last ride up in the in the cage um, and it was very quiet. 
people trying to put on a brave face because nobody wanted to, you know, to shed a tear in front of these hard men that you work with. Um, 20 years later, you run into people that you worked with um, who don't forget the people you work with, people that you sweated with, shed blood with, um, relied upon. And if you work with somebody for any length of time and you share that kind of hardship, then, and you know that the guy that you work with will stay as well, then you've got huge respect and it's mutual respect. And even if you see that guy 10 years, 15, 20 years later, that respect's still there because they know, they're one of the few that know just how tough it was. Um, and you know, that's, that's something that you never forget. Dum-dum!